Have you ever wondered why the government forces Canadians to pay so many taxes? Have you ever wondered why the bankers from the largest private banks are becoming wealthier and the rest of us are not? What I have discovered is the banks and the government have colluded to financially enslave the people of Canada. The government borrows money from the private banks. They then lend the debtless money to Canada with compounded interest. The government then continues to increase taxation of Canadians year after year in order to pay back the interest on the exponentially growing national debt. What results is inflation. The government gave the banks the ability to loan out money that doesn't exist in the form of loans. They click a key on a computer and generate the fake money out of thin air. They don't actually have it in their bank vaults. Presently, the banks only have $4 billion on reserve, but they have loaned out over $1.5 trillion. Their freedom and they need to be stopped. I said the following and I hope that all of you remember this. Never, never doubt that a small group of people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever well, wasn't that just absolutely profound? I would say to you right here, right now, that if a 12 year old can imagine how incredible Bitcoin is and how destructive the fiat system is, well, then you can too. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because I have plenty in this video for you. Let's delve right in. Today, we're going to be speaking a little bit about where Bitcoin is, what Bitcoin is doing, what is crypto doing and where we're at and using and using my link pinned down in the comments of this video at the top of the description, you can get yourself an incredible bonus up to $30,000 deposit right here on Bybit, the exchange that I'm about to share with you. I am still in my Ethereum trade. Now, I just did a very small $5 to $6 trade on Bitcoin again. I entered in at this level. Okay, and we're creating higher highs and higher, sorry, higher highs and higher lows at the moment. And we're trying to get out of that down sloping trend line, which we will discuss in a little moment over here. You can also use my Bitflex link down below and get up to $88,888 for yourself right there. Now you can see here, it almost looks something like a little bit of a bear flag to be very honest, because there's the pole and then there's the flag setting up. But so that would be the next target down if you would really want me to be, you know, a little bit bearish at this point, just so that you can understand. And there are my next two trades. And I'm going to show you that actually, if we were to break out of that, that would bring us down to 45K uh, on Bitcoin. I have previously said to you that there is a high possibility that we could come down here to the 50, the 50K level, which we tr almost reached down here and then we immediately pull back. But we could come down uh, all the way down here to this level, the 45K level, which still wouldn't be such a bad target. However, in saying that, I need you to know and understand that we're in a down sloping trend. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, at the moment. And as you can see, we're kind of flattening out at this point. We've bounced back up. We have a buy signal here from one of our indicators. The MACD is strong, the PMO is crossing over, the MACD is crossing over into buy territory, and the RSI is creating a bullish divergence on this pattern right here that I have previously drawn for you, you can see right there. And that is going to signal to us whether we should continue to buy here in this space. You can see here that we would need to get to this resistance level, we would probably meet some resistance, if we break, if we fail here and we break further than this low here, this white box, that is going to tell me that that bear flag that I was drawing for you right here, that will undoubtedly play out. Okay, no chance that it won't. And I say that because if you look at the resistance and the momentum, if we hit up here and we get hard rejected and we don't bounce off of my yellow box here, which we have maintained as its entire stability point at this point i don't believe it's going to go down any further but it's not to say that it can't okay now and i'm going to show you a few reasons why i believe that the selling pressure is done and over besides for all of our indicators actually telling us it's time to buy this asset like a beautiful beast keep that mentality strong you need to keep your mentality strong 
like you are. Okay, so let's move on from this here. I'm going to jump into some of the most awesome articles in a short little moment, but you can see here, there is the flag. And if we had to draw this long, major, beautiful pole, I would suggest that that pole kind of comes from down here at that point. And that, as I've previously said to you, would align with the exit. And that would take us all the way up to $120,000. Okay, that's the next move. Then, it's not to say that Bitcoin won't go down and break it. And maybe even come all the way back down here to retest this level once again. Maybe. What do you think down in the comments below? I would love to know. So, I'm just going to run over a few things here for you guys. But just, Justin, people should consider a 2.5%, 2 to 5% allocation to BTC according to CNBC. And that is incredible. I do agree with that. Do you agree with that? Well, personally, I'm about 95% in crypto and about 40% odd in Bitcoin. Okay, I do have other assets and other investments in gold, silver, bullion, plus um, other crypto assets and products. Now, Scaramucci says here, by the end of the year, $100,000 would be hit. Do you believe that? Let me know down in the comments below. Bearing in mind that I just showed you that kind of trajectory that trajectory right here especially because that's the cup and the handle is forming and if you watched that video right here i'll leave it in the pin above for you you must know what's coming right now here's my must know this is insane we're about to see some really cool stuff unfold so i'd like to move on because you saw on my own beautiful personal twitter page that i have been sharing some stuff with you over the last few days but Sometimes inactive, guys. Sometimes I'm inactive. It's just what it is. I I have such an incredibly crazy busy life. And that's just what it is. So thank you to you for remaining so loyal to me and watching this channel with me. Because in the last uh, couple days, ETFs have taken in $654 million in the last three trading days. That's just that little tiny little amount there. We haven't even seen this start to pump again this start to pump again. Are we going to see that based on all of the Germans selling all of the Bitcoin and running their balance down to zero? What do you think? I mean, because for me, Shobaloba with BlackRock, Bitcoin ETF has had $18 billion of inflows since launching in January. Only one day of outflows, which was $37 million. Maybe they need to pay for some fees. Okay, $18 billion is a lot of money. Okay, so CFTC Chairman Ben Ham says that Illinois court confirmed that Bitcoin and Ethereum are digital commodities. This is amazing news because Bitcoin and Ethereum are literally commodities. This has been happening. This has been proven. The SEC has dropped the case against Ethereum so on and so forth there are many reasons that you absolutely need to stay with us right to the very end because i'm still going to show you some really incredible stuff because the u.s inflation during the course of this week on thursday falls to three percent we're bearing in mind that their target is two percent right lower than expectations after a 3.3 percent previous reading they are getting ready to send it the money printers just like i showed you the 12 year young in the front of my video that this is happening they will continue to print money as soon as it's suitable for them and i have previously shown you in multiple charts if you've watched this video and watched this video you will know that and i will show you once more in this video if you stay tuned right here with me btc usd you can see here if I had to just, just draw this very, very simple kind of line over there, um, this line over there. Look at that. Just the channel. This is this is a down sloping channel. This is a descending channel, parallel channel. Once this thing breaks, it breaks and it has massive 
consequences in massive rallies throughout its cycle. The same thing with Ethereum. Ethereum is now building its second wave. It's found support. Also got a buy signal. Also, all of the indicators down here are rocking the show, telling us it's time to buy some Ethereum. So if you haven't been buying Ethereum, use my link down below. Get yourself some Ethereum. Here I am in a trade. I probably am going to add some more to this. I probably am going to go a little bit more degenerate on the trade. Uh, not to say that it can't come back down. If it does come back down, I'll move these limits down. That's the simplicity of trading. You watch the market and you you balance out your trade entries. So yes, I got into a position here in case it continues to go up. However, who knows what it's going to do? Okay, all I'm saying is, is that it got stopped out there. I should have got straight back in there, but I didn't. So um, that's why I have got back in over here because it almost seems as though it is getting ready to break out with this interestingly looking kind of W pattern. Okay. Very, very interesting that it's always a W pattern in Bitcoin. Plus, you can see there that there's a bit of horizontal resist resistance right there that it has to break through. Once it breaks through this area here, this is the target of the area. So I am going to just very gently draw that little that little pattern for you okay on exit look where it takes us boom right back up ironically to the resistance level of the breakdown of this level holy shkamolis okay don't play the games with me come and talk to me here in this because the money printers are getting turned on here okay we are about to rock and roll here now, the UK bank refuses to accept funds that have been converted from Bitcoin into pounds and sterling or whatever you want to call the pound, the whatever, even dollars. This is so backwards. It really is because Bitcoin is money. So why aren't you converting and taking the money? Okay. Uh, that's all they want. So after the UK sold its gold between 1999 and 2002, the price of gold went up 600% in that time. Okay. And it sold it at about 275 an ounce. Guess what caused that crash right there? Then we had a 600% bull run. Germany are selling billions in Bitcoin and will become an even bigger regret. Germany are going to get wrecked. Why are they selling their Bitcoin? But some really incredible news right here right now is that breaking 2024 Republican Party platform promises to defend the right to mine Bitcoin, defend the right to self-custody digital assets, transact free from government surveillance and control, end unlawful, un-American crypto crackdown, and oppose the creation of a CBDC. This is massive. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, please. This is powerful and even to the point where I will just repost it for you. Okay. This is magnificent news. Here is the US inflation. It was 3% in June below expectations. Core inflation came to 3.3% below expectations. Get ready for the Federal Reserve rate cuts. U.S. headline inflation is the red and U.S. core inflation is the yellow. Look at how it has been coming down. The target is what it has always been, a stable 2%, an average of a stable 2%. All the way since the year 2000, you can see that. That is where their stable trend line is. Are they going to get that? Or is this creating higher lows from this point down here? Back in 20, uh, after the after the crash, 2008 crash, they had to save the market and they had to print themselves into oblivion. Then again in 2022, that is massive. The next inflation is going to create, look at this, higher high, higher lows currently. Do you think that that's just going to continue? I have more evidence down the line, stay tuned, to show you that that is going to happen and has happened for decades already let's go move on 
Now, on the July 25th and 27th, one of the biggest Bitcoin events in the world, the Nashville Bitcoin event, Donald Trump to speak at the world's largest Bitcoin conference in at the end of the month. Insane. I hope you are going to stay tuned and I will be here with you on this channel for that speech. You bet your ass we will be here together. Make sure to subscribe if you would like to be here with me for that. If you aren't attending the event, unfortunately, I'm not. I have so much business to run right here right now. New US Bitcoin ETFs saw 310 million in inflows just yesterday. That was Friday, just by the way. So the highest in a month. We are so back. 310 net inflow on the daily total net assets is now worth 51.3 billion and btc price average of 57 315 major major stuff happening and if you still believe that bitcoin is unsustainable energy well bitcoin mining using sustainable energy just in Bitcoin mining, sustainable energy use hits a new all-time high of 56.2%. Once Bitcoin has gone through a number of halvings, the, the energy proficiency to mine Bitcoin becomes almost at 100% by the time we last mine the last Bitcoin. That is just what it is. And if you don't know this yet, well then make sure you are with me because I show you things like this on the channel. Hong Kong ETFs bought 425 Bitcoin worth 24 million this week. Doesn't matter that it's slow. That's 425 Bitcoin out of the 21 million Bitcoin. Okay. And if you have been with me on my channel, for a while, you would know that that is a scary number because if you come to this beautiful chart that I'm going to share with you in a moment, let's just go and get it. This chart right here. 21 million Bitcoin. Set nearly 20% of this is lost. The corporations only own that many. We own that many. Can you imagine what 425 Bitcoin is like? Ha! <laughs> you have no idea just yet. And that's why I encourage you to just continue to Satoshi stack. No matter how many Satoshis you stack, whether it's $5 a day or $10 a day, or just stack Satoshi. Get yourself to one Bitcoin if you can. At the very, very least, 0 0.25 Bitcoin. That is it. Do it. No financial advice. But in comparison, you can see to Germany's ridiculous sell-off, creating this ridiculous sell-off pressure, El Salvador have been steadily increasing and buying one Bitcoin every single day. Every single day. Look at those steps to heaven. What they... What Germany have just gone and sold. I mean, Germany just had like 50,000 Bitcoin. But look at that. They, uh, El Salvador only has about 5.8 thousand Bitcoin. Make no mistake. All of these, these countries, these states are going to be doing and collecting that. Just in the house fails to overturn President Biden's veto on bill that would allow highly regulated financial firms to custody Bitcoin and crypto. They needed 2.3 of the votes. Remember this. Okay. Where I showed you a number of times on this channel. They were the bill was the bill was not passed and crypto has won. Now Solana is looking like it is starting to flip Ethereum, surpassing it on DEX volume for the first time. Okay, that is absolutely insanely epic. Solana with 7.13 billion compared to 1.72 billion uh, in terms of uh, Ethereum's TVL. Okay. That's what it is. The TVL is higher in Ethereum, but the DEX has been pumping on Solana. And that's just probably because of all of the shit coins and the meme coins. Now, if you still don't see that Bitcoin is about to pump through the roof, well then, my friend, you need to see here that the dominance is looking like it's topping out now. I can say that confidently 
because we are now starting to be rejected from all of the levels that I have been speaking about with you for some time. And this is a rising wedge pattern, which we have broken, but we are still maintaining horizontal support on a very, very interesting and long-term support zone for Bitcoin dominance. However, we are coming down at this point. This you need to understand. We have created this interesting downsloping pattern. So my head and shoulders pattern here, uh, completely invalidated. Okay, so let's remove the head and shoulder pattern because it is invalidated. Okay, that's just the truth of knowing the trader that you are, you know what you're doing. But the same thing on total two here. We're getting buy signals after buy signals after buy signals after buy signals. And it's time to realize that all of the buy signals that are unfolding here right now are jumping and maintaining on that support level where we need to see this punch through the roof, which we are currently seeing. Remember I said to you, we still have from halving to the exit about 200 days on average which is about six months so april to may may to june june to july july to august august to september september to october october could be a very strong month and look at those beautiful numbers that i'm sharing with you right there right now 13 13 11 on the 13th that is all synchronicity right there and in a moment it'll be in another minute it'll be 13 13 on the 13th of the seventh this is mad and i everything is synchronized so even though i don't do so many videos for you guys i just need you to you understand know, that the videos that i am bringing up to you are relevant to what's going on right now i catch up i update you and if you are with me on my live sessions every single monday night i'll leave a link down on the pin for you this is where we come and join the best journey to check out the live sessions we see what's going on in the moment take some trades possibly i may enter into a few more trades before then i'm hoping to to stack it up with you guys on the show but i can't guarantee that but at the end of it we are now in a consolidation phase this is oil hitting major long-term many year multi-year resistance good uh, pepe finding a bottom brett finding a bottom say finding a bottom XRP has been pumping like crazy. Now, the most important chart that I want to share with you, of course, is the M2 money supply, which since all the way down here, okay, from 1959, it has just absolutely ripped it up. And I would actually like to see if the US debt clock has finally hit the 39 trillion, uh, trillion dollar level. Let's go and have a look at that. But before I do that, the money printing just continues. And right now, as I've said to you long time ago, 13, 13, 13, that's what it is. All the best blessings to you. Okay, because right here, right now, you can see that this has had a very strong buy. So look at this. Buy, bounce off the ribbon, break out of the ribbon. PMO is slowing down, getting ready to make a turn. The, the MACD is starting to push up and become a little bit over the RSI is pushing up towards money printers are going. So don't waste your time because BlackRock's ETF and Fidelity are now worth $28 billion betting on the future. Okay. Of this asset and this asset class. You don't want to be missing out. And even more powerful than that, top billionaires are now backing Trump. Elon Musk's major contribution was revealed, has reportedly donated a significant amount to support Trump's campaign. America PAC will disclose the list of donors by 15th of July. That's Monday. So I will let you know about that in our live show. Trump's donations have overtaken that of President Joe Biden in the ongoing campaign. This is amazing. And the reason he's doing it is because Trump and Elon Musk are both for free speech. They're both multi-billionaires. They're both businessmen. They both have the care and concern for their economy to help their economy at scale. They both support Bitcoin and crypto. They both own the asset and so much more powerful than that. And now this is why 
XRP is also having its beautiful pump at the moment. As you can see here, we're having a very strong uh, buy signal. Since the bottom there, we've pumped up 33% on XRP already. Thank fudge I did not sell my XRP because XRP has now been announced that it is not a security and Ripple celebrates a landmark ruling, warns of the SEC's overreach. It just is what it is. So if it's not an if it's not a security, is it a commodity? Let me know what you think down below because then that would join the likes and the ranks of Ethereum and Bitcoin. But then surely we should have Solana, Avalanche, Cardano join those ranks too. I'd like to know what you think down in the comments below. So even though Germany has gone from 50,000 to about 5,000 and literally selling off about 90% of their reserves, they have bled themselves to death, okay? They have sold one of the most important assets on this planet and shame for them because some of them German ministers also believe that they should be backing their reserve assets. They literally sold the shit out of all of it. They sold everything on the 8th and 9th. And even though they did that, it didn't really do much. That was, there you go. There's the 1st of July. So cool. That's where they maybe sold that, that ton that they had. That's all that the sale of 50,000 Bitcoin caused. Okay, so Bitcoin dropped what? 16%? whoop do whoop de flip and do because you know, you yourself know when you take your googly eyes and lay them on a chart that looks like it's gone up for infinity and will continue to probably go up for infinity in a sustainable way, we are tapping on the top end of this wonderful uh, level of resistance. I wonder where that would take us on a breakout of that chart. Guess what? It takes us up to 115 to 120. So you can see that's the next leg up. That's the next leg up between 103 to 120k. That is the next leg up on Bitcoin. Don't be fooled because right now, while you can buy the Bitcoin for $58,400 today, you should be buying what you can because that is like a 2.2x up. So if you put $100,000, you can get like $200,000, $220,000. Why would you not do that? You're doubling your money. It's better than relate. You're guaranteed with Bitcoin. Okay. Now, let's go and see. Oh, we're almost there, 30, nearly 100 billion more. And then we are there at the $35 trillion level. And remember that I said to you uh, that the time machine, let's go and see the budget showdown for 2028. Currency of the world, that'll be at $46.6 .6 trillion, okay? From currently, it's $34.9 trillion. That's in four years' time. That is an extra 30%. Okay. Where is my... Yeah. That's an extra 30%. Okay. Into this market. 30% of 20 is... 7 trillion. Okay. So, there you go. It can take us up to there. Like I said, that's the exit. That's the potential. But if they can't stop this, this is going to freaking blow the lid off the US dollar. If you have enjoyed this video, I truly appreciate you. Many, many beautiful blessings. Thank you for being here with me today. And make sure to stay tuned for my trade. I'm probably going to be adding some into the position here in a little moment. I'm going to just see what it does in a little while. Love you. Thank you for being here. Take care. Have a beautiful day.